eyes right. If your eyes are right, they may be likened to a perfect little camera. Of all the parts of the human body, the eye is perhaps the most remarkable, and at the same time most simple in its mechanism. The secret of the eye's functioning is the lens, whose purpose is to bend a ray of light from its normal straight course. We show only two rays, but a countless number stream from the object and throw a picture onto the retina. To magnify that picture, we must use another lens. And now, watch the effect. The dotted lines are the old rays. Taking the convex lens away from the eye makes the image bigger. That's why we see this so often. Now see how the microscope makes little things big. Let's take a hair. No, not a branch of a tree, but that same hair. Microscopic plants made gigantic. Believe it or not, this is a whelk's tongue. The glad eye of a gadfly. A form of seaweed found in riverbeds. Another diatom, lowest form of vegetable life. A section through a beech twig. The creative processes of flowers are always an interesting study. At mating time, plants produce a dust-like material called pollen, which is stored in pollen sacs supported by slender stems within the flower. These pollen sacs become attached to the legs of insects, in this case, the common fly. Each pollen grain contains a life germ, and when it's brought into contact with a mother flower, a new life begins. These remarkable pictures are magnified a hundred thousand times. A six-foot man magnified the same number of times will be 130 miles high and his feet 17 miles long. You'll realize then how tiny these living cells really are. The life germ quits the pollen grain to help the mother flower make a new seed. So does the parent flower perpetuate its kind. And talking of little things, we wonder what Hitler and company are thinking of this little thing. <laughs>